Common Man in the Torg, Mike Brigadotti, and Craig Krenzel filling in for the tour today. <laughs> so you're, uh, you're you're doing the Grand Tour. Yeah. You know, what do you, what do, you do to keep yourself, and we'll talk about the football in a second. Do you just have a little advent calendar at the Big Ten Network as a little piece of chocolate as you get closer to college football season? Because that's what we do here. Are you guys just chomping at the bit? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's our bread and butter football and basketball season. So, you know, the, the summer is a little bit of a downtime. You recharge your batteries a little bit and get yourself prepared for what's going on right now. 17 straight days, I believe, on the road in the Big Ten tour bus. Donardo and Howard Griffin. Now all of you are, are in the bus together? We're all in the bus together. How's yeah, that work? All the production crew. <laughs> it's great. You know, honestly, seriously, Craig, it's really fun. Now, Until Donardo do... gets into the Mexican food, <laughs> if we... then it's not fun anymore. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, strictly... We'll keep that in mind when we recommend restaurants. It's strictly Italian with Jared. Yeah, you know, there's only one kind of food. It's Italian. We ate at his restaurant last night. He has a restaurant? Good. Yeah, D'Angelo's. Fantastic. I didn't know that. Oh, it's so good. The Big Ten Network joining us. Talk some uh, sleepers coming up. Common Man in the Torque, 97.1 The Fan. I'm going to ask you this question now, and then and then maybe we'll ask it again in 16 days when you're done with the tour. But right. just kind of break down the quarterbacks. I mean, obviously, uh, we know what Terrell Pryor is capable of. Um, we've seen some of these other guys, you know, the Stanzies, the Tolzines, Kirk Cousins. Kind of break them down, and, and in your opinion, who is the, the best quarterback in, in the Big Ten this fall? Well, Pryor definitely has the best upside. I mean, you got about seven teams. I think it's seven that have a returning starting quarterback. Prior with the best upside, I'm interested in your guys' take. I mean, I, I think that we are conveniently forgetting some large portions of the year. Oh, no question with, about it. With Terrell Pryor. I mean, there were points during the year last year, the Purdue game obviously jumps to mind. and, and That's a swear word on this program. Maybe, maybe <laughs> on <laughs> the, the, the Purdue game. Hit the dump button. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, uh, look, he was fantastic in the Rose Bowl. If he can play like that all the time, they are no doubt a national championship contender. Beyond that, you know, I think a lot of teams have found guys that fit really well with what they want to do, and I think Tolzien is a perfect example of that. This is not a guy who's going to blow anyone away with any of the measurables. But, you know, Craig, I mean, in a lot of ways, I think he's comparable to what you did when you were at Ohio State. I mean, a guy who knows his role and fills it really well and can play at a very, very high level in, in big-time games and doesn't get flustered by it. So I like him Dave, a lot. thank you for stopping by, my friend. Enjoy the city. All right, thanks, Mike. Is Denardo thanks, picking up the check tonight? Uh, he'll pick it up and hand it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Prebson from the Big Ten Network joining us here on The Fan. Coming up after Sports Center, Brian Cushing thinks you're an idiot. Common Man in the Torque, 97.1 The Fan.